Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we have Jill here with us who's here to share her internship interview experience as well as her actual internship experience with Visa. So she's done her summer internship and now she got the PPO. Hi Jill, welcome. Congratulations on your PPO conversion. So, Thank you. So would you like to introduce yourself to our viewers? Uh, yeah, so uh, I'm Jill. I'm a fourth year CS student from BIT Chennai. So I'm in Jishnu's batch only and uh, last summer in 2021 I did an internship at Visa and then I got a PPO. So this video is about that. Yeah. Okay. So would you first like to share how many rounds were there and uh, how what was the process? Yeah. So uh, for interns, yeah, yeah. So. For uh, interns, there will be one online test and then one interview round. And for full-time offers, there will be one online test and three interview rounds. Okay. So, in the uh, interview, I mean, in the first first round was coding round, right? There were... How many coding questions yeah. were there? Could you tell so, us? So, uh, yeah. So, yeah, just I'll, I'll just say that this was uh, a long back, about mm. one year ago. So... This would uh, be useful probably for the 2023 interns because 2022 interns are already selected. Mm -hmm. So yeah, this was uh, an on-campus process and uh, everyone with uh, 7 CGP and above and 70% and above and 10th and 12th were eligible. So this might have changed. Uh, I'm not really sure. Okay. Uh, so first round was uh, an online coding round and there were two questions and one hour of time to solve them. Okay. Right. So, uh, the questions. Uh, one question was to uh, find the minimum number of adjacent swaps required to group all ones and zeros in a binary array. Okay. And another question was uh, that uh, you you know you'll be given two strings, and uh, you have to check if one string divides the other. So there was some condition given to. Uh, tell if a string divides the other so like if one string is formed by repeatedly appending the other one so yeah the questions was, were not exactly the same but uh, hmm. kind of like this okay uh, yeah so easy to medium level questions and hmm. then uh, 15 students were shortlisted after this round okay okay and then, uh, yeah, so then we had a technical round. Hmm. Um, so, yeah, first it was just the introduction. Uh, like, uh, he introduced himself, I introduced myself. There was only uh, one one person interviewing. Okay. And then uh, then it went to my resume. So, we discussed two or three, two or three projects from my resume. Hmm. And then, uh, then, you know, he asked me about uh, uh, client-server communication, and okay. how requests are answered and uh, yeah then he also asked me you know how to check if the website is up or not so for that I said that uh, we'll use that ping command that we have uh, so if if the website is receiving the packets it would mean that the website is up and if the packets are lost then the website might be down and then uh, then uh, you know he asked about follow up questions like how would I write a script hmm. for this this purpose? Okay. So for that I suggested that we could uh, uh, at that point uh, I, I suggested to use the HTTP code to check if the website is up or not. Okay. Right. So uh, these few questions are about web and internet. Uh, uh, yeah. Overall, in general, I don't remember a lot of questions because mm -hmm. it was long yeah. back. Yeah. 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 And then, uh, then, yeah, then... So, again, mostly uh, there were computer science coding. questions, right? There were coding questions also yeah. in the interview? Were there coding questions also in the interview? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, okay. uh, yeah, first... Yeah, 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 yeah. So, first it was, you know, about resume and then about this and then we went to coding questions. So, he asked me uh, two or three questions and then follow-up questions on them. But okay. uh, there was a shared editor between uh, between us. But he told that I don't have to write 
pre code, mm. the pseudo code is fine. Okay. Uh, so, for the interview, we didn't have to write the actual code, code. but okay. yeah. And um, yeah, so uh, that, and then, uh, you know, mostly it was about uh, other subjects, operating systems, mm. and a little bit about computer networks and security. Mm. And I think it also depended on the projects you had and who was interviewing you. Mm. So, uh, yeah, after that, uh, yeah, that was it. Uh, then, then there was questions like, uh, why you want to work for Visa? Okay. And then he asked me if I had questions. So, it was like a one hour interview. Mm. I don't remember all the things. But yeah. uh, overall, the subjects that I mentioned, it was related to them. Okay. So, so then, basically this was for... Uh, selected. Okay. Yeah. So, this was for summer internship and then once the summer internship was over, the PPO was converted. I mean, you got a PPO, right? Uh, yeah. So, for the summer internship, uh, right, uh, for we, are, we'll, we were assigned a mentor hmm. and then we, we we had a reporting manager. So, uh, so like af- after, you know, we were given a project, we were assigned to a team. So, after uh, the the internship period, we'll have a presentation and uh, based on, you know, the team's feedback of the intern and also the presentation, presentation had a higher weightage. So, based on all that, it was decided if uh, the intern will con- convert it to full-time or not. Okay, okay. So, you had a presentation in the end and based on the mentors and your uh, manager's feedback, yeah. uh, they've decided, right? Yeah. Okay. 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 So thank you so much. And would you like to give any suggestions or like where we need to study from or where you studied from for coding and for operating systems, etc.? Yeah. Yeah. So, uh, for I think uh, uh, the interview process for Visa is uh, very similar to the other companies that you prepare for in placements. Mm. So data structure algorithms. Uh, you know, you have a lot of resources online, or uh, like probably people already know. Hmm. So, we lead code and for theory purpose, a uh, little bit of geeks for geeks. And then, you know, the core subjects, uh, operating system, DVMS networks. So, uh, just uh, when I was studying them, I just made notes for them so that I could just revise them whenever I wanted. Uh, and yeah, just uh, everything you write on your resume, your projects and everything, just be clear with all that. Okay. And it should be fine. Okay. Okay, thank you so much for joining me and helping out the juniors. So, yeah, thank you. Thank you so much.